Every goo down in the goo's room loved Christmas a lot, except for the British, who lived in a local jail called Gula. As he sat behind bars with the foul look, all the goos and goofled wondered how a goo could become a thieving crook. To understand the Grinch, we must look into his past without fear. Here's the true story of how the Grinch got about three to five years. The Grinch's story begins at the edge of two towns. On one side of the booze with blue hair, and the other with the ewes whose hair was a yellow tinnish brown. Now the booze and the ewes were not quite fond of another. In fact, the booze and the ewes separated based on color. The origin of the feud is not well known, but all knew that the mixing of the booze and the ewes was extremely wrong. Though unlawful to socialize with one another, it didn't stop a boo and a ewe who were madly in love with each other. They would see each other every night, but they could express their love completely out of sight. The union was magical until a fateful day when the ewe told the boo that she was deathly afraid. She pointed to the calendar with despair and dismay as she explained how she'd been sick every morning and growing more and more weight each day. The boo stepped back and he too became sick. Then he thought of a lie and he thought of it quick. The boo replied, you're pregnant. <laughs> yeah, by golly, this is neat. But you know, I'm starving. Do you want something to eat? The you declined claiming to be sick as she cries. The boo comforter said, don't worry. I'll be back after grabbing the boo hash with fries. The you sat in the chair as she held her stomach and winced. She waited for six long years. And still hasn't seen that boo or the McBoo hash with fry six. Lying bastard. The Grinch was born on Christmas Day, but because his hair is green, no you would allow him to stay. So Mother You did what she thought was best and got a government subsidized apartment while working part time at Payless. As the Grinch grew, he began to realize that the boos and the U's hated him, no matter how hard he tried. Mother You worked hard but couldn't afford much. So the boos and the ewes made fun of the young Grinch before, during, and after lunch. The Grinch was bullied excessively and never got any respect. His mother told him to be patient, but he had no more patience left. The Grinch began to hate the boos and the ewes and everything they loved. He soon moved to the isolated icy mountaintops, watching hitting the boos and the ewes from above. The Grinch glared at the towns with his soul torn until one day he realized, though different, the booze and the youth's favorite holiday was ironically the same day that he was born. He hated their music, their festivals, and their honey. <laughs> the British still he declared, I must stop Christmas from coming. To get back at the booze and youths as revenge for the disrespect showed towards him, he decided to hatch a plot to pull off the greatest act in history. The Grinch began to work tirelessly, even when he became sick. On the day of the grand theft, he decided to add insult to injury, so he dressed up as old Saint Nick. When the lights were most dim and all snuggled in bed, filled with Christmas cheer, the Grinch entered his first home after calling his mother with a cold bottle of blue beer. He tried to enter the door and door and became stuck only uh, once. After realizing the door was unlocked, he thought to himself, How could I be such a dunce? Over the next few hours, the Grinch and the little yeah. yeah. pantry survived the booze and the use of the gifts, toys, yeah. clothes, uh, even as video oh, oh, games. Why did old Grinch even to the last bottle? Boo champagne. Uh, hmm. The Grinch was nearly done with what he set out to do, that is, until he was confronted by a little girl named Cindy Little Boo. The child was a millennial, so she had a short trip to spend and she was easily distracted. So that old clever Grinch thought of a plan and decided to hatch it. He shouted, what is that? As he put it to a clock. And the second the child turned her head, the Grinch had vanished, but she did not care a lot. Because the Grinch had left the tablet displaying the new dances on her favorite app called TikTok. The Grinch's plan was complete and it was a successful house. 
he went back to his mountaintop while thinking, <laughs> disrespecting him, came at a severe price. The snow was cold and the sun was bright the next morning. The Grinch laughed to himself, thinking, <laughs> All the booze that he used will be an unbearable morning. The Grinch listened intensely because their crying and sorrow would be no better. But he became gravely concerned when he realized that the booze and the weed began working together. The Grinch was very upset, shouting, How did the slap not burn? He's the Grinch. That a mere beer bottle was about to send that ass to jail. Just as he said, the authorities were near. The Grinch had a bracy as he tried to run into it. The Grinch was captured and placed inside of a cell. He was booked, fingerprinted, and given orange overalls before seeing the judge. He's going to take him to his cell, boys. The Grinch sat back and was shocked to see how the booze and the yous worked together. Why he even saw a you give a boo, a rather ugly Christmas sweat. The Grinch began to realize that they worked together because they were stuck on their items that came from a store. And the Grinch began to think that maybe, just maybe, Christmas means a little bit more. The court date was set and the Grinch pled guilty to his crimes. And because of a plea bargain, the judge sentenced him to a reduced amount of time. The Grinch's theft was a hard crime that both the booze and the ewes could feel, and because of it, they resolved their petty differences and began to live with one another in a new consolidated town called Gooville. Hearing of the mergers, Grinch began to have heart troubles, most ghouls would say. In fact, a cardiologist was worried when he discovered that the Grinch's heart grew three times its original size that day. The Grinch was released years later on a snowy day around a quarter to three. After catching the bus and collecting his items, no one has seen the Grinch and all have little to no idea where he could possibly be. So what happened to the Grinch? Well, in Gooville, they decree that because of his enlarged heart, that it is more than likely he would have succumbed to the inevitable fate of degenerative heart disease. The Grinch left a legacy that we cannot ignore. Despite our petty differences, we need to show more love to one another. More love than we have before. And so we say Merry Christmas and bring in the new year with great cheer. But please do not forget the true reason of how the Grinch got about three to five years.